couple of interesting things that have been going on in the world of digital technology and innovation that are certainly changing the shape of archives. One of the first things to say is that um, sort of from about the really the 60s or the 70s, people have started to think about how they could digitise stuff. But it wasn't really until the advent of the internet where people could put digitised documents online. And that has just exploded as a possibility. One example would be that when I started my PhD in 2007, I had to go to every archival institution that I needed to. I had to go in person, which means I was limited by the time that the building was open, who was there to help me, and my ability to search and to find those records. And that meant travelling in a couple of different states of Australia to find that material. But now that everything has been digitised, well, so much has been digitised, I understand that it's something like 55% of the material is now digitised and available online via Australia's archival institutions. So there's still a lot that hasn't been, but there's a tremendous amount and lots more. And in fact, things have been digitised all the time. So over the course of my PhD, um, I went from having to visit archival institutions to be able to find things online. But I did a lot of newspaper research for both my PhD and my first book, The Convict's Daughter. And I noticed that um, searches that I'd done in newspapers at the beginning of my research had yielded only, let's say, 20% of material. But even three weeks before I finished my manuscript, I could search the same topic and another 60% of material would become available. So this is literally a world that is like blossoming like sea monkeys right in front of us, you know, and we have to keep very agile and receptive to it. We have to um, not be lazy and complacent. We have to go back and do searches again because literally institutions are digitising day and night, often down in their basements, and making things available. So things are changing all the time. And what that means is that now many of us can do 70% of our research at our desks at home. We don't have to work with the office hours of an institution. We can go in any time, any place, anywhere. And that is just so fabulous. It changes things. It makes it more economical, makes it a lot easier. <clears throat> but it's still a mistake to think that that's all there is because there's this kind of discussion that we have in archival circles, which is about the tangible versus the intangible. And I would say that there's nothing more exciting, potent, delicious for me than to actually touch the archival document itself. So it's, digital's great, but I would still say if you really want that moment, that encounter, that intimate experience, to go in and have that experience is great. So one side of the digital story is all about this kind of new accessibility, engagement, and people are doing lots of different things with it. They're going in with these kind of big data mining machines and literally crunching and munching the data in whole sorts of different ways to um, think about things differently. We, they use things like harvesting and mining to scoop data together and look at it in different ways, and that's really fabulous.